Princess Anne was accused of not liking people after she refused to do any interviews on a royal tour, a documentary has revealed. The Princess Royal accompanied her brother Prince Charles on a trip to Washington, D.C. in 1970 on invitation from U.S. President Richard Nixon. According to 2002 Channel 4 documentary The Real Princess Anne, the American press did not take kindly to Anne's perceived bad attitude. She apparently looked sulky and bored while viewing cherished American monuments and was terse with photographers and reporters. The narrator said, the reaction against Anne by the American press was instant. They saw in her a royal who didn't like people. Joy Billington, who was a Washington reporter at the time, told Channel 4 why reporters came to this conclusion. She said, she was very bad-tempered, very sulky. She really didn't want to be there, that was the impression one had. Helen Thomas, very respected journalist, said, Princess Anne, what do you think of the Washington Monument? And instead of saying very tall dash she could have answered in two simple words, she said I don't give interviews. This was in stark contrast to her brother Charles, who was apparently very friendly and receptive to the press. In her book The Royals, biographer Kitty Kelly claimed Anne's behavior made Charles look good by comparison. She said, he smiled for the photographers, she swatted them like flies. In extraordinary vintage audio in the documentary, a British broadcaster can be heard suggesting a more charitable interpretation of the princess' behavior, that after a 10-day tour of Canada she was tired rather than bored. Nevertheless, and quickly tired of playing second fiddle to her brother, preferring to take solo trips where she could blossom. After she became president of Save the Children, she embarked on a trip to Africa accompanied by a Blue Peter camera crew. It was on this trip that Anne came across completely differently, she appeared unstuffy, energetic and game for a challenge. Despite this, Anne had a rocky relationship with the press in general when she was young, famously telling them to naff off when she lost her temper. Anne would get wound up when she was asked questions about her personal life, insisting that she should be left alone as a private citizen. However, this request was branded ridiculous by Daily Mirror reporter James Whitaker. He said, she's not a private person, she's not a normal person, she's the only daughter of the sovereign. She also got annoyed when they managed to capture her falling off her horse in equestrian eventing competitions. Recalling one of these incidents, royal photographer Jane Fincher said, we were all click click clicking away giggling our heads off. If looks could kill we would all have been dead instantly, because she was furious at doing it right in front of us. However, in more recent years Anne has rebuilt her reputation by becoming the hardest working royal. In 2018, the 68-year-old attended 447 engagements in the UK and 71 overseas, according to the Times. Meanwhile, Charles attended 398 engagements in the UK and 109 overseas. The Queen managed 283 UK engagements, still very impressive for a nonagenarian. Tim O'Donovan, who tallied up these royal appearances, insisted that these numbers should be considered in the context that all engagements differ as to time and content. 